Okay, bad lighting, but I uh, wanted to work through real quick uh, what my interpretation, anyway, of an intro for Scotch and Soda is going to be. Um, talked a lot about the different things that you can do as far as back cycling and that kind of thing. And, but uh, what I ended up coming up with is, uh, um, is kind of a combination of a lot of things. It just starts at the top of the head. The little chord melody thing. This is where it changes. So to go down to the E7 here, we're going to go up. E7 up here. D7. So anyway, that's me talking through it. Let me actually play through it this time. It's a little bit easier to, for me to do. Scotch and soda, and so on. So yeah, that's just an, my idea. I kind of uh, kind of stumbled into that, which you do with these types of things: is you'll play it, play it, play it, and then you'll stumble into something. So, but anyway, keep working on it. Uh, look at some of the suggestions. Maybe play through that and uh, come up with what you think it should sound like, because that's what's more important. So anyway, uh, make sure you hit the website up, swingukulele.com. Check out the blog and and see uh, the rest of the. Scotch and soda stuff because there's more to come. Thanks.